Shalom Israel, Messiah in Christ, bless. Captain Uziel. Officer Ezra. All right, back with uh, another 15 minutes with the captains. All right. The title is Shamed of the Gospel, right? This goes for the brothers that are easily offended or they um non-confrontational. They kind of, you know, they're kind of timid when it comes to the word instead of being uh, bold, strong, all right? Um, and it may happen at workplaces, um, your, uh, while you are out on your day-to-day, your living, your neighborhood, right? We see it happen throughout many, uh, many um, stages, right? However, we're not saying that you go at work and go blasting, you know, you know, Esau's the devil and you go teaching everybody. There's wisdom when it comes to the gospel, right? All right, let's uh let's get started. Let's start at Romans 10 and verse 11. Lord's willing this should uh it should put some boldness in your character when it comes to the gospel. And you're not ashamed of what the scriptures say. It, you didn't make this up. It, it is what it is. You can't let, this, you can't let other, the other nations or your people make you ashamed of what the scriptures say. All right. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Right? That makes yes, sense. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Romans 10, 11. Romans chapter 10, verse 11. For the scripture said, whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. So if you believe on Christ, you're not going to be ashamed. All right. Now think about it, too. We, this is New Testament, right? This is when. Um, go to First Corinthians. Let me show you something. Let me show you why it says that. Right. It says for the scripture said, whoso believeth on him you believe on Christ, you're not going, going to be ashamed. 1 Corinthians, is that 11? 11, right. Uh, read verse 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 4. Every man prayeth, or every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. All right, go ahead. But every woman that prayeth or prophesieth with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. So now, think about it. Right back then, you're walking in the temple, and you're and everybody's sitting around with meat trees on, right? And you're covering your head at, to show that respect unto Christ. Now everybody know why you're doing it. Oh, this guy right here believe on Christ, but it says he that believe on him, you're not gonna be ashamed. You're gonna go in the temple boldly and remove the. the turban the, the head whatever it is right, right? Covering. you're gonna the covering you're gonna remove it to show that boldness that yeah I, i'm one of the ones that believe on christ right. right that's it that takes a lot of uh that takes a lot of boldness to do uh let's go to um psalms 119 psalms chapter 119 verse 6 then shall i not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. Okay. Now let's go to uh, Romans 5 and 5. It says, Then shall I not be ashamed when I have respect unto all thy commandments. When I'm studying, I'm learning, and I'm applying your commandments. There's no point for you to be ashamed of, right? Go to uh, Romans uh, 5. Romans chapter 5, verse 5. Uh, I think I want to start at one. Start at one. Romans chapter five, verse one. Therefore, being justified by faith, being justified by faith. Go ahead. We have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. So through it says being justified by faith. What's that faith? That faith is Christ. Go ahead. By whom also we have access by faith into this grace mm -hmm. wherein wherein we stand Go ahead. and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. You see that? It, that's a big thing with us, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Some of us come into this truth 
And we sit in the corner on the new moon. We have no hope. We have no joy. We have no gladness in the Lord. But it, it, when it was vice versa, when we was out in the world, man, we had all the joyness and gladness and hooping and hollering, doing <laughs> praise dances. When it comes to the wicked holidays, you decked out the house, lights everywhere, uh, silver and gold, all that crap. But when it comes to the Lord's feast days, you're, eh, you have no joy, no gladness. Go ahead. Verse 3. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, mm -hmm. knowing that tribulation worketh patience, okay. and patience experience, uh -huh. and experience hope. Okay. And hope maketh not a shame. See, when you go through all these things, you know why you're going through all these things. You know why you're going through tribulations. You know you, why persecution is to come. You know why we're going to go through persecutions. Those things should strengthen your faith. Those things should not make you ashamed of the gospel. Go ahead. And hope maketh not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in your hearts. By the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. Mm -hmm. Let's go to uh, 2 Timothy now. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 12. For the which cause I also suffer, th suffer these things. Mm -hmm. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. For I know who I have been. For, for I, I know, know whom. whom I have believed uh -huh. and am pers persuaded uh -huh. that he is also to keep that, that he is able to keep that he is able to keep that which I committed unto him against this, that day. OK, so from the top, it says for the which cause I have suffered these things for the for the cause that I've suffered these things, the persecution, the tribulations. Go ahead. It says, nevertheless, I am not ashamed. Same thing we was reading. These things are to strengthen you, to build you up. You shouldn't be ashamed of the things that we go through being called hate, uh, hate group. Um, we preach the word of God. They say it's hate crime. So you shouldn't be ashamed of that. You should, it should build up your strength and this truth to know these things are things that were prophesied to be said about the followers of Christ. These things are what the followers of Christ went through, right? You go somewhere and you announce your faith and they treat you a certain way. You can't get certain jobs. You can't get certain privileges because of the faith that we, that we have in Christ, right? Because the world, the world hated Christ first. So what you think, how much more are you? We're going to get the same things right we're gonna get the same we're gonna drink up that same cup right. all right um let's go to ch -ch -ch -ch, go to study to show thyself approved 215 yes sir go ahead second timothy chapter 2 verse 15 study to show thyself approved unto god mm -hmm. a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth okay so you should be able to know What's to come? You, you, you should be able to know I, I got to stand bold on what the word of God say. I, I'm not looking for trouble, but if some, hey, somebody bring it my way, I got to be able to back it up according to the scriptures. All right. Um, let's go to Romans 9.33. Romans chapter 9, verse 33. As it is written, Behold, I lay in, I lay in Sion, Sion uh -huh. a stumble, stumbling stone and rock of offense. That's and, the, uh, I think that's the same thing in Isaiah, right? Go to Isaiah 28, 16. Isaiah chapter 28, verse 16. Therefore, thus said the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation and a stone and tried stone, mm -hmm. a precious cornerstone, Go ahead. a sure foundation. So Christ is our foundation. Christ is what we're supposed to stand bold on. Right. Go ahead. 
He that believeth shall not make haste. He that believeth shall not make haste. That means you, you're not going to fall. You're not going to faint. You're going to stand bold, right? Um, let's go to uh, First Peter. Chapter 4 and verse 16. First Peter chapter 4, verse 16. Yet if any man suffer as a Christian. Meaning as a follower of Christ. These are things that are to come. These are things that are going to happen. We're going to suffer as followers of Christ. Go ahead. Let him not be ashamed. We're not going to be ashamed. Go to um, First Thessalonians 4. Start at 8. First Thessalonians chapter four, verse eight. Mm -hmm. He therefore that despises, despises not man, but God. So whoever have a problem with the word of God, it shouldn't, it shouldn't concern you. It shouldn't be a matter to you. Hey, you feel some type of way about what the word of God say. That's on you. You, you don't got nothing. That ain't got nothing to do with me. That's between you and God. You, I didn't write these words. Go ahead. Who hath also given us his Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you. For ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. Go ahead. And indeed ye do, ye do it towards all the brethren which are, which are in Macedonia. Which are in all Macedonia. Go ahead. But we beseech you, brethren, that ye in... Increase more and more. That you do what? Increase more and more. That you increase more and more. And what? And that ye study to be. Nah, and that ye study to be. To be quiet. Uh huh. Keep reading. And to do your own business. Uh huh. And to work with your own hand. Go ahead. As we commanded you. Go ahead. That ye may walk honestly towards them that are without. Go ahead. And that ye may have lack of nothing. That ye may have lack of nothing. And it says that ye may walk honestly towards them that are without. Those that are without what? The word of God. Those that are without the understanding, right? And it says for you to do all those things, right? Let's go to um, Matthew 13, 21. Thirteen twenty one. Matthew chapter thirteen verse twenty one. Yes. Also, also, keep in mind, uh, First Thessalonians, right? It says that ye that ye increase more and more, and that ye study to be quiet and do your own business. Go ahead. Matthew thirteen verse twenty one. Yet he hath not root in himself. But dureth for a while. But dureth for a while, meaning the person that don't have root in Christ, root in keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, he's only going to endure, but for a short period of time. Go ahead. For when tribulation or persecution arises. That's what we're talking about, right? Tribulations, different things popping up, coming up about us, against us, about Followers of Christ, now they call us uh, black identity extremists, uh, hate groups. These are things that's going to, is sh slowly but surely, is going to evolve and lead into that persecution. Go ahead. For when tribulation and persecution arises uh -huh. because of the word. by And, and all, all it is, is going to happen because of the word. Go ahead. By and by he is offended. By, and it says by and by he is offended. If you're not rooted, any little, any little issue that come in, you're, you're going to be offended. Meaning you're going to fall. Meaning you're going to fall and go back into the world. All right. Let's go to Jeremiah 2.33. Jeremiah 2.33. Build up yourself to the point where you're not trimming your ways, where you're not timid uh, of the word of God, 
where you're bold. You become bold in what the word of God say. All right? That's our, that's our faith. Go ahead. Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 33. Why trimmest thou thy way to seek love? Why? Why trim your way to seek love? Why? 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 Trim your ways to seek love. Why trim what the word of God say to be accepted by family members, the nations, people at your workplace? Don't do that. Go ahead. Therefore, hast thou also taught the wicked ones thy ways? Now, you, your ways are going to be an example to other people that's looking at uh, Israelites. Oh, man, this guy, he's not really... He's, he don't really stand for the word of God. He he goes with the flow. He, you know what I'm saying? Now let's go to 2 Maccabees. Show you something. No, no, no. Go to uh, Ecclesiastes 8 and 1 first. 8 verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 1. Who is as a wise man? Mm -hmm. And who knoweth the interpretation of of a thing go ahead a man's wisdom maketh his face to shine go ahead and it, the it, you could tell like when you look at a, a brother with wisdom there's a different aura that that brother carries he stands out from other brothers go ahead like for example bishop he has a different aura about him right you could you could tell like there's something special about this brother go ahead and the boldness of his face shall be changed. And the boldness of his face shall be changed. You're supposed to get that wisdom so you can change. But if you were timid in the world, shy, quiet, whatever, when you repent and you, you learn the wisdom, you get this faith, you should know, all right, I got to be bold now. I can't always be... Uh, Trying to pick my words here. You, you can't always be uh, mamsy pamsy. All right. You got to be bold. All right. You, of course, we're not saying go out there, look for confrontation, but you have to be bold. Go to 2 Maccabees uh, 1437. 2 Maccabees chapter 14, verse 37. Now was there accused unto Nicanor. One right, Razis, mm -hmm. one of the elders of Jerusalem, a lover of his countrymen, and a man of very good report, Go ahead. who for his kind, kindness was also called father of the Jews. So everybody called this man, you know, he's the father of the Jews because, you know, brothers, sisters called them pops or whatever it may be, right? Go ahead. For in the former times, when they mingled not themselves with the Gentiles, mm, go ahead. he had been accused of Ju Judaism, uh -huh. and did boldly, and did boldly, jeopard. jeopard his body and life with all behemacy. behemacy for the religion of the Jews. It says he jeopard his body and life with all vehemency. For the religion of the Jews, meaning he was he was bold in standing on the word of God. It said he did not mingle themselves with the Gentiles. He didn't follow the ways of the Gentile. We didn't uh, conform to the ways of the Gentile. We stay boldly on what the word of God say. Revelations 11. Verse 11. Revelations chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of life from God entered in them. Go ahead. And they stood upon their feet. Go ahead. A, and great fear fell upon them which saw them. Go ahead. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up into heaven in a cloud. And their enemies behold them, beheld them. And the same hour was there a great earthquake. And the tenth parts of the city fell. And in the earthquake. It's, you go back to uh, verse 12. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. 
And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up into heaven in the cloud. And their enemies beheld them. And their enemies beheld them, meaning they seen what was going on. All right. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness mm -hmm. bef before the face of such as have afflicted him okay. and made no account of his labors. Those people that is speaking about, it says they made no accounts of your labors. Those are your enemies, right? right? So it says, then shall the righteous stand in great boldness. That's what you got to have. You got to have that great boldness because you understand what the word of God say. It's time to change from being that timid, right. soft-spoken brother to being a bold brother that stands righteously for the word of God. Revelations 11, verse 11, to wrap up. Revelations chapter 11, verse 11. And after three days and a half, the spirit of God, the spirit of life from God entered in them. Uh -huh. And they stood up upon their feet. And great fear fell upon them which saw them. All right, go to Ezekiel 37 and 5, right? Because something's going to have to happen for them to have that. It says great fear fell upon them, right? It just seemed righteous men disciplined and in order, and they know what's about to happen. Go ahead, Ezekiel 37 and 5. Ezekiel chapter 37 verse 5 Thus said the Lord God unto these bones Behold I will cause breath to enter into you and ye shall live mm -hmm. and I will lay sinews upon you and I will bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you So God is showing us that he's going to teach in the last days he's going to teach us we're going to have our identity we're going to know exactly who we are right now jump down to verse 10 verse 10 so i prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them Go ahead. and they lived uh -huh. and stood up upon their feet mm -hmm. a great an exceeding great army an exceeding great army so that's what the most high is building in the earth now right an exceeding great army not an army of soft-spoken brothers that's ashamed of the word of God or trimming your ways uh, to seek love and not standing bold uh, for the word of God, right? One more thing before we sign off. Go to Isaiah 58. Go ahead. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Go ahead. Cry aloud. Cry aloud. Go ahead. Spare not. Don't spare nobody's feelings, emotions. D that's not, that's not uh, a concern for you when it comes to bringing out the word of God. Right? Of course, there's wisdom on how you bring out the word of God. But, however, don't, uh, it says, don't, it says, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Right? It says, spare not. You're not sparing no emotions. When it comes to this, it is what it is. Whatever the word of God say. Go ahead. And show my people their transgressions. The point is to show God's people that the way that they're living is not right. We got to come out of the, what the world has taught us and live righteously according to the word of God. Go ahead. And show the house of Jacob their sins. So. Show the house of Jacob their sins and be bold when doing so. All right. With that, we say shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission minor murmuring omitting and missing the mark just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark we on paul's mission we out on the road purple and gold from mexico cuba haiti ghana sierra leone 144,000 boots banging concrete crackling 
These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.